time. It's the most valuable commodity in the world. So when it comes to business, we need to use, manage, and create time in order to ultimately be successful. The productive nature that we use our time plays a huge role in the speed of our success along with the amount of our success. In this video, Mr. Business will break down the top 7 productivity hacks for 2022 that will get you more success faster. I'm Mr. Business and I will teach you how to succeed in business so you can make more money and design the life you want to live today. If you want to succeed in business, make sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updated whenever I release new videos. Let's get on to the topic. First up, at number 7, the 5-minute rule. The 5-minute rule is great for procrastinators. One of the challenges in productivity is getting started on an important task, and sometimes you may be tempted to procrastinate, especially if the task looks big, or it takes a long time, or it's just something you don't enjoy doing. So how the 5 minute rule works is, you just tell yourself that you're just going to do the task for 5 minutes. You can use a 5 minute hourglass to time yourself if you want to, and just convince yourself that you will only work on the task for 5 minutes. This works really well in stopping procrastination because you turn a big task into a small manageable one. Once you've started, you can choose to stop at the 5 minute mark or Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia, can kick in and give you the momentum to keep going and finish the task. This can happen because maybe you can start having fun with doing the task or you just start to feel good with your ability to handle the task and it doesn't look too intimidating anymore. Sometimes all you need to do to become more productive is overcome procrastination and get started. Next up at number 6 is the concept of time blocking. Basically, this is where you block out a certain amount of time for a particular task or project and you place it in your calendar. When that time comes, you actually do the task that is on your calendar. When you start doing this, you can almost two times your productivity because you are completing a specific task or set of tasks on a daily basis. The problem with some people is they wake in the morning and they don't have anything scheduled to be done for that day. You just do whatever it is you feel like doing. But when you have something blocked out and scheduled to be done and you stick to the schedule, this will do wonders to your productivity. When you have empty spaces on your calendar, the tendency is you can think up all these things that you can or you want to do that you end up not doing anything. Instead, block time for important tasks and stick to it. This way, when you start your day and you look at the things that you want to do or need to do, you already have at least one task that will surely get done. As you become more adept at implementing this technique, you can block out more time for other tasks or projects. This is how you start to increase your productivity. This is an absolute game changer and highly productive people like Cal Newport Bill Gates and Elon Musk use this and recommend it to other people. Next up at number 5 is Delegation. Delegation is how you massively multiply your productivity. Tim Ferriss talks about this in his book, The 4-Hour Workweek. In his book, Tim shared how to outsource your tasks that you don't enjoy doing to virtual assistants so you can live that 4-hour workweek. Entrepreneur and investor Naval Ravikant also talked about this concept of setting an aspirational hourly rate. And this rate is essentially how we value our time personally in terms of actual dollar amounts. So if there are things that we're doing that we don't enjoy, then you can check to see if you can delegate or outsource that task to someone who would be willing to do it for less than our aspirational hourly rate. So start thinking about the value of your time and start delegating to free up your time and be more productive. These tips are life-changing and if you like to be more productive, make sure to hit that like button and you will produce good karma and you will become more productive. At number 4, watching videos or listening to audio at higher speed multiples. This is 100% life-changing and might seem weird or uncomfortable, but trust me, it works. When you're watching a video or listening to a podcast or audiobook, Try to do it at a higher speed multiple. You can start by listening at 1.25 and gradually increase the speed. 
A lot of content and entertainment out there can be consumed at a faster rate. This way, you can have some entertainment but you don't have to burn through hours just to enjoy them. If you're learning something, you can always pause and replay an important part at normal speed. But by doing things at a higher multiple, you can get through a lot of content faster. As a variation to this, you can also just watch highlights of your favorite games. Like I realized, I don't need to watch an entire football game. I just need to watch the highlights. You can still have fun. It just ends quicker and you save time doing so. At number 3, we have the daily highlight. This is probably the single most useful productivity tip that I've come across in my life. And the idea behind the daily highlight is just every single day you decide what is the one thing that you want to get done today and then you make absolutely sure that you do that thing. This can be something productive like complete a chapter of your book proposal or it can be something that is not necessarily related to work or any project like hang out with friends or like call my grandma. It could be anything, but the idea is that if for every single day of the year, you do the single most important thing that we want done that day, that genuinely would move the needle for your life. At number 2, we have systems. This is something that James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, talks about quite a lot and he distinguishes between goals and systems. So goals are the things that you want to achieve, but systems are the process and the steps that you take to get the goal. Focusing on systems is actually an amazingly effective productivity tip. And most of the time, I find that if I'm trying to get anything done, if I focus on the goal, generally, that thing won't get done. But if I think about what system can I build, what's the process can I follow to do the thing, then it will get done. If you listen to interviews with anyone who's super productive like world-class athletes or best-selling authors, the thing that they always mention is the systems of training or of practice that they follow is what helps them get the work done. Everyone who does any kind of sport wants to do really well on it, and everyone who's in the Olympics wants to win gold, so everyone has a goal but it is not enough. You need systems and processes that need to work day in and day out and that will get things done. I cannot stress it enough, systems are critical to becoming productive in 2022. And finally at number 1 is enjoying the journey. This is the ultimate point of all these productivity hacks and that is enjoying the journey. It is absolutely life changing. When you're having fun doing the stuff that you need to do or want to do, then productivity just naturally happens and you don't need to motivate yourself. You don't need to worry about distraction and procrastination from doing something you genuinely enjoy. You won't delay doing something that genuinely brings you happiness. So if we can find ways to make sure we're enjoying the journey of all the things we have to do, like writing a book or filming this video or going to work studying for our exams, if we can find ways to make it more fun, then our productivity just becomes automatic. All of these other techniques we've talked about, they go out the window because you don't need to bother with them because you're just having so much fun doing things. So there you have it. I hope these productivity tips supercharge your productivity. Again, to summarize, here are the 7 hacks to supercharge your productivity in 2022. 5 minute rule. Time blocking. Delegation. Speed multiples. Daily highlight. Systems. Enjoying the journey. Which of these tips will you try out? Let me know in the comments section below. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I release new videos like this. This is Mr. Business, and see you in the next video.